One of the few experiences universally shared among people is enjoying a dip in a stream on a warm summer's day. Streams are invariably enjoyed for their picturesque beauty, crisp waters, and abundant wildlife, beckoning people from all walks of life onto their inviting banks. However, there is one stream that is far more sinister than it looks. This stream, the Bolton Strid, seems extraordinarily normal. Just six feet across, the Strid appears nothing more than amicable waters meandering through mossy rocks. But what sets it apart from other streams, and other bodies of water in general, is its glaring 100% mortality rate. Yes, 100% mortality. Everyone known to have entered the Strid has not come out alive, if at all. Let's take a look at what makes this seemingly innocuous body of water so perilous. The Bolton Strid is actually a section of the River Wharf, located in Yorkshire, England, near the ruins of an ancient priory. Its name, the Strid, comes from the Old English word strife, meaning turmoil, although some people will argue that its name comes from the word stride, since the Strid is approximately one stride, or six feet wide. In contrast, the river wharf is on average about 30 feet wide. So, how does a 30-foot wide river fit into a narrow, 6-foot wide stream? Horizontally, there is nowhere for the water to go, so it begins to fill vertical space, undulating through many caves and crevices hidden 30 feet deep beneath the surface. In addition to the strid's deceptive depth, the narrowness of the strid forces water through it at a very high velocity, creating dangerous rapids that course through the underwater terrain. Going back to the strid's 100% mortality rate, stories of tragic deaths and mysterious disappearances go back hundreds of years, although there is no official record of the number of lives that the strid has claimed. One of the earliest stories of a drowning in the strid dates back to the 12th century and tells of a young boy first in line to the Scottish throne, falling to his doom while attempting to hop across the Strid. Perhaps no story has captured the harrowing nature of the Strid better than The Striding Place, a short story published in 1896 by Gertrude Atheron. The Striding Place has remained an iconic short story since its publishing, being included in the Library of America's American Fantastic Tales Anthology and ranking first in the July and August 1983 edition of Rod Sterling's The Twilight Zone magazine's list of horror stories. The story tells of a young man going missing near the Strid, and his best friend embarking on a search for him, alone, in the middle of the night. As the man searching for his friend approaches the Strid, he considers different ideas of what happens to the soul after death, particularly whether it remains in the body for some time. He stops along the bank of the Strid, realizes that many people have died there, and begins to turn back. At that moment, he sees an arm protruding from a branch beneath the water and recognizes the arm as belonging to his friend. The man hastens to free his friend's arm from beneath the branch, freeing the body to float downstream until it comes to rest in a pool. Ending on an unsettling note, the story then describes the man flipping his friend's body over in hopes of resuscitating him, only to realize in horror that his friend's face was missing. This story is certainly a little strange, and clearly a work of fiction, but it captures the haunting nature of the Strid in an enduring and memorable way. More recently, the Strid captured the world's attention in 1998 when it swallowed up a couple hiking in the area on the second day of their honeymoon. Indeed, the tragedy of the newlywed couple's violent death shocked the public, but there were also some mysterious details surrounding the couple's death that caused many people to question whether their deaths were truly accidental. For example, after the couple went missing in August, the woman's body was not found until six days later, and the man's body was not found until October, ten miles downstream. Many people found it hard to believe that purely natural forces could have killed the couple and obscured their remains for so long, especially with an abundance of warning signs in the area that they were hiking. However, the coroner ruled that there is no indication of third-party involvement or taking one's life. This is primarily because of an eyewitness account reporting that, after a night of heavy rainfall, the Strid's water level rose by almost 5 feet in under a minute on the day of the couple's disappearance. So, yeah, we can add flash flooding to the list of the Strid's dangers. I truly hope that the Bolton Strid claims no more lives in the future.
All of the stories and real-life tragedies surrounding the Strid demonstrate nature's unshakable power pervasive in the world around us. In an era where we can find everything we need at the grocery store, check the weather on our phones, and predict natural disasters with reasonable accuracy, it's easy to take our control over our environment for granted. As wise as we are, our world is full of the unexpected, sometimes hidden in plain sight or just beneath the surface.